Hi guys, I did a little video uh, the other day about these nine LED flashlights uh, showing how to make a little cradle or adapter to use vape batteries to go in there to replace the three AAA batteries. So there you go, that's one of these little cradles. So I've got end plates on there. The vape battery is soldered in place and then I've got an adapter there so I can plug it into my normal LiPo charger to recharge it. And that works absolutely fine. But it did occur to me that not everybody is look, trying to recycle vape batteries. And there is another easy option if you want to stop using AAA batteries. Oh, what's that one got in it? Yeah, AAA batteries. They do last pretty well, but it, they are obviously disposable batteries. Or you could use rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries. They work as well. But there is another option. This is a 14500, 2800 milliamp hour, 3.7 volts lithium ion battery. Now it says 3.7 because that's the nominal voltage of LiPos and lithium ion batteries. But when they're freshly charged, they're actually about 4.3, 4.2, 4.3 volts. Anyway, that one. You could just put it in there and hope for luck that you can get it to line up. Yeah, it, it will work if you are careful. You could just wrap some cardboard around it to space it, to hold it in the middle. Or because I got a 3D printer, I can 3D print a little tube for it. So that just slides in there. That's just to align it. And you can see it's already working there. Yeah. So there you go. That's a really simple modification. Again, you do need the right charger for lithium ion batteries. You can't just stick that in an ordinary nickel metal hydride charger. So, but usually when you buy these, you can buy the charger at the same time relatively cheaply. But if you want to convert one of these to lithium ion, that's probably your easiest option. By a 14500, 14 is the diameter in millimeters, 50 is the length, which is the same length as a AA battery, or the 14 and the 50 are the same dimensions as a normal AA battery. The O at the end indicates it's a cylindrical battery. If you were buying one of those flat lithium ion batteries, the O at the end would be, placed, be replaced with two numbers indicating the thickness of the flat battery, flat rectangular battery. But yeah, there you go. There's a really simple, and you don't need a 3D printer. You could use cardboard or plastic or whatever you want. That might add to the fire hazard. It might catch fire if the battery catches fire, but the battery should only catch fire if you do something really stupid with it in the um, flashlight. I can't see any way it's going to catch fire in the flashlight. And there you go. Just thought I'd show that. So you don't need to have a 3D printer. You don't need to use vape batteries. You can use standard lithium ion batteries. And you do need a charger to do deal with them. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know I'm doing, 
and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.